What's up, my friends? BRB Stormbreaker here with another Comic Con review. This one, this one was too big to put on the table. Background wasn't big enough, so here we go. Star Wars Revenge of the Jedi Vintage Collection The Death Star. And inside is 14 action figures, which I will show you when we open it. So, let's check this thing out. Comes with this little band around it to keep it closed. If you don't know why it's called Revenge of the Jedi, I'm not 100% sure on all the details, but it was the sixth episode, Return of the Jedi. It was originally Revenge, but I guess at the last minute they changed it to Return. And so I guess like all the movie posters they already had made and had them in front of theaters and all that, they had to take them all down and replace them all to Return of the Jedi. So this, I guess this is why it's called the Vintage Collection. They're just bringing back the time. So. We got the Death Star here. Sweet looking Death Star. Um, when you flip it around, guess what you find? <gasps> Another Death Star! Or the back side of the Death Star. Now, if you see right here, this is all the stuff it comes with. You have Darth Vader, a B-Wing pilot, a Rebel Commando, a TIE Fighter pilot, Ricket, the Ewok, Admiral Akbar, it's a trap, Boba Fett, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, R2-D2, Han Solo, Stormtrooper, a mouse droid, and the person I hate, not as much as Jar Jar, but I hate him, Solutions Crumb. Whole guy freaks me out. Alright, so let's open this baby up and see what's inside. Wow. To you Star Wars fans, you're probably drooling right now, so wipe that drool off your mouth. This is awesome. I mean, it's it's huge. It's a huge Death Star, and inside is action figures. I mean, what more do you want? A giant, destructive weapon that can destroy planets, and action figures inside. I mean, it's two for one deal. So you got seven on this side, seven on that side, of course. Now, you see this one? You have Luke Cage. There's Luke Cage. Getting Marvel confused with this. Luke Skywalker, <laughs> right there. And you got Stormtroopers. The Rebel Commando. You got your B Wing pilot. Your mouse droid right there. He's black, so it's kind of hard to see on a black background. Darth Vader. And he's black as well, so. Sorry if you can't see him that well. R2 D2. Sweet so comes with a lightsaber. Looks like a I don't know what that thing is, but it looks like another device. So that's this side. They all look sweet. They have they look like they all I'm not I'm not gonna take them out because I wanna keep this thing brand new in case I ever decide to sell it later on, sell it in mint condition, you know. Price goes up. Just thinking just thinking for future references. So sorry if I disappointed you, but I'm not gonna be taking these guys out. But I will show it to you. So here we have Admiral Akbar. He looks awesome. He's probably one of my favorites in this thing. Little Ricket. Comes with a spear, little bag, and a little cape. Here we go. Slave Leia. Yeah, there's a picture of her. She has that spear. Looks like she has a drink in her hand. Alright, let's see. The TIE Fighter Pilot. And of course, he's black too. See how I'm getting like that. You see him there. So this is Crumb. Gosh, I don't know why they made him so weird looking. I mean, just look at that face. Look at his eyes. It's like they stare into your soul. It's just weird. And you got Han Solo over here in his trench coat. And here's my favorite one out of all of them. Boba Fett. awesome even though I'm not taking them out you can tell by looking down that they have good articulation in them except this guy well actually his legs have articulation I guess it's something um, but you look at Boa Fett you see his arms they have articulation I'm guessing their heads move I don't know why they wouldn't um, articulation in the legs 
it looks like he has some feet articulation if you can see it um, let's go over here yeah stormtroopers got it Look, Skywalker has articulation R2-D2 has articulation on his head all R2-D2's their head spins so I'm guessing this one his head can move too but his arms can move everybody has articulation in this thing um, if you love Star Wars you would love this thing. I mean, it is a sweet thing to have. It's just like it's a great collector's piece. If you you would love to have this, if you love Star Wars, if you love action figures, if you love anything like this, it's a great piece to have. I recommend it. It was pricey though, but I think it was worth it. What was it like a hundred and thirty dollars for fourteen action figures? So like, what is it? Less than ten bucks a thing. Eh, it's a good deal because that's kind of how much they sell for in stores. But Comic Con exclusive makes the price go up on it later on. So this has been my Death Star review. Hope you enjoyed it. This is BRB Stormbreaker, and have a nice day.